Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux. Welcome, bienvenido, croisui, salam alaikum. Welcome to the channel, y'all. So as you can see, we are in the car. And as you can see, we are actually going through the car wash. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and do a bit of a Miko style of going through a car wash in the UK because I know Miko from, um, before, from um, vacuum tests will enjoy this, so hold on. So unfortunately that car wash isn't very exciting as you can see. Um, I'm gonna have to shut the roof because the dogs are in the back. So as you might be able to see from the back there, Hubby's in the car as well. Hello. Hello. Um, but we are off to Derby to, for a little meet. So in the back of the car we've got our tent, we've got the blow up mattress, uh, we've got the pop up dog pen, and our bedding, a uh, suitcase with clothes for one night and toiletries and whatever. And the washing machine. And the washing machine, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've taken the washing machine. Uh, so yeah, uh, in the back as well, we also have my Rolls twin tub. So the boys are gonna take a look at that, which is Phil and Chris. Um, Chris from the Laundry Centre, Phil from Service Slimline, and the other guys as well, they're all going to take a look at it and see. I have brought some bits with me to replace it, but they have some parts as well that could possibly fit it. So the most important thing at the moment is to make the Rolls twin tub 
um, watertight so that all the other work I do to it which is cosmetic and rubbing down and doing this and that and the other that is all worth it because in the end it's watertight and as you've seen in a previous video if you check out my rolls um, playlist you'll see the rolls in there uh, for a first look hello Ooh, we almost fell over oh <laughs> nurse Dorian um, but yeah so if you you can check that out and uh, you'll see that it runs fine it just needs to be sealed because it's leaking uh, what else have we got in the back? We have got a vacuum that I need to give to George from AEG123. And the theme of the meat is Goblin. So also in the back there, I have got my Goblin Electra that has been fully refurbished. I believe there's still one or two parts of that video to go out, but you'll see all them very soon. Um, what else is in there? taken suitcase said that dogs I think that's it yeah so anyway so we are going to be on the road driving up so we're just coming off to the A1 I wanted to give the car a little bit of a just a little one pound 30 arc car wash just rinse off sorry it looks nice and clean for pulling up when we roll in rolling in the Citroen and the car is packed absolutely packed Plenty of room for the doggies, but the car is packed. There are some things we'll be getting rid of. For example, there's a bag of soft drinks. Uh, there's a flower pot with flowers in it and some uh, other bits which won't be coming back. So we will have uh, a bit more room when we're on our way back. So that's pretty good. Let me just get on to the A1. The weather today for the Easter bank. Oh yeah, it's Easter, sorry. So it's Easter bank holiday. Happy Easter, everybody. Um, let me just get on to the A1. So it's the Easter Bank holiday, it is Saturday, and the weather is absolutely fantastic. It's 22 degrees so far, it says in the car. Um, but for the UK, for this time of year, that's really warm. That's sort of like t-shirts and, and shorts and outside. But it still does get a little bit chilly in the evenings, unfortunately. But can't have everything. At least it's going to be nice. That was the main thing. If it wasn't going to be dry this weekend, then we were just going to go up for the day. But as the weather has turned out to be so nice, we're going to stay overnight. And we're going to take the, te we're taking the tent and we're going to camp out overnight. So the journey up to where we go in takes about an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, there's some people there that I've not met before. Um, I know that Chris Parker is one of them. Um, and there's somebody else as well that I haven't met before, but that'll be really nice to meet them. But yeah, everything's going really well. I've got a series coming up. You won't, I would have probably already started it by now, but I'm gonna do some uh, videos with the pneumatics kind of like ASMR ish kind of thing doing some bits or keep posted for them they're interesting um, and generally just trying to put out content you know varied content for you guys so to keep you interested so lots of refurbs coming up I had a good old sort out of the garage yesterday and tidy up and organize I also did a million Zach's haircuts and did them both together so the garage floor is absolutely covered in fur so I've still got two Hoover Junior videos to do uh, which will be um, one from the 70s and one from the 80s so we'll see how they cope with a big fur mess test that'll be interesting to do and to see apart from that everything else is just tickety boo so I'm gonna leave you now and I'm going to carry on the video when we get there. Okay, so we're here and the rolls is on its side. I'm under the instruction of Chris and Phil. And the first thing I have to do is to remove inside here. If you come and have a look, cameraman. Inside here is the outlet hose. So the first thing I have to do is to remove this. So if I undo the clip. And... 
try and wiggle this off a little bit more not drop the screwdriver well, this probably this hasn't been taken off for what like never been off, never been off ever Are we off yeah i'll give you a new clip that's all right oh okay it's the worst it's a fact we take it all put the bits over there so we're just taking out the we go through it we'll just go through the other way where it's been widened that end yeah i reckon it's actually passed through the other one how about if we just break it off so I'm just going to pull. Now we've wedged it. Hang on, it's coming through. Okay, so that is now the broken 50-year-old hose. Do you want to see if that goes on there then? We need to poke it through, through oh, this way. And that fits absolutely perfect. So we've got this new clip that we've been given. So we're gonna slip this on, like so, and tighten it up. Not too tight. So there we go, now we have the outlet hose fitted. To not do that. To not do that. <laughs> and to chalky block it. Okay. Well, I want to take this off because I don't think the light is working and somebody's oh, going to paint okay. the panel for me. Okay, keep going. So I'm just going to do this very gently. Yeah. Do you want a smaller screwdriver? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, might help. You can tease it with that. And we're going to tease the buttons off. Dials, knobs. Same thing, dials, knobs, buttons. <laughs> knob number one. Great. Thanks, Chris. I'm just going to work my way around again without making the plastic click too much and pull on the knob as I prise it off. Shit. That's how you don't want to do it. Right. No. Stop set. Do you want another one, man? If you put it forward, I'll see if I can tease this in underneath. Voila. Two knobs. Now, just this heater, right. there's a little, there's a little yeah. nail in there. Are you sure this is how it comes off? No. And then there's screws then. They just hold the switches onto the, the plate. That's not how this plate comes off. This plate that we're fixing on the inside, because that'll just, just hold the switches on. Does it just pop off then? He said this comes off really easy. I'm sure that's what he said. Right. See, that's just wiggling this switch around. It's not taking the fascia off. I reckon the, does the top come off? Yes, mm. the top does come off. I reckon that's how we're going to have to gain entry. No, they said he said it was a lot easier. I don't think so. Can we just take these screws off just in case? Yeah, but I'll bet you 50 quid. That's a rivet there. Access through the top. Okay, great, cool. Let's put these back. Let's rebuild that. Should we just leave it? No, let's put it properly. <laughs> I can't find people. Kill it. Please! Someone drop it! 
Oh, why did you undo this? So whoever told me to do that... It's a liar! Never mind. It's a liar! Have a scoop. Thank you. Don't worry. It's on the window ledge. Oh, let's okay. leave it off for now in case it could be off yes. for whatever reason. Right. Cool. These are so annoying. Right. Yeah. I shouldn't stand right in the firing range. Okay. Oh, you want us to sort that out? <laughs> I thought that was okay. Oh, watch it. Yeah, we're upset with something else. Oh, please, that one. Wow, that literally took two seconds to come off. <laughs> That's gone. Forever and ever, oh, Amen. Okay. Um, you might want to get a pot to hold over them, perhaps. And then we can contain them. Because they're coming off with a lot of force. Okay. Just a thought. Um, yeah, paint it, that'll be. Sorry. Last one. Last one, Doc. I'm hoping this is just a bit away. Um, yeah. it? Look, what's it holding on to? Oh, the seal. And the broken wire. And the what? And the power oh, spin switch. Which I'm not going to use anyway. So you want it bypassed? Yeah. Okay, that's no problem. There you go. Right. Oh, there's the clips. Oh, so it does, does clip on. Just, yes. Pull That's it. He said, put something down there and then yeah. prise the clips off. Do you want that big one again? Yeah. Well, I'll let you do it. I'll tell you what we could do. We just expand the inside there. 
Fifty forward. That's it. Got no purchase. If we get this side out first. Right, you've got enough of that. You do that. I'll support this. Now you pull that gently. Yeah, teasing it. I'm trying to tease it. Ta da! Right, so where does our power lead come from here? Got live in on that one. I'm going to chuck it like this at the top. Can I have a off for my switch? Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Let me get the box for a second. Yep. So that's clipped in underneath. Grommet, oh, is this blue tack? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, it's perish beyond buggery. But I've got um, Sugru at home. Yeah, you so can once the new one's in, I'm going to Sugru it and keep it in place. Cool. Right, that's no bloody good. No, right, let me take off this. So, yeah, take that off. I'm going to get some crimps in the tool. So, this is an original, old original plug. No, it's not. Isn't it? No, it's not. Oh, that's old, though, isn't it? No, it's not. That's like recent. Like Stick on it. Really? Really it's recent. Old. Oh, Ooh. it looks old. No, so this no, is I the mock old plug. Right. Um, That's how much I know. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> three core fuse. Three core plug. So I'm going to take these off. Take the plug on. Right, I'll come back to you now when I've got the new plug on. So this machine's from the early 60s, is that right? Not sure. Not sure at all. I'd have lost it when I first do that. I should have brought my um, thingy me jig. Yeah, what to be jig? The uh, automatic cable strip. Yeah. <laughs> Next time. I didn't think of we'll bringing tools. Oh, yeah. So you rely on other people again. Was it right? Don't worry. Where? 
behind you. So when I'm crimping, I'm not pulling the wire through enough. Uh, okay. Sorry. Don't worry, it's going to be resprayed anyway. Cool. <laughs> yes. Washing machine yeah, check around the back for the water. Good, good. Bag of shite in the world, but I love one now. Just because it's so unusual. It's probably a bit long. You want to drop the screw in if I line everything up? Yes. Uh, screwdriver here. It's going to be awkward. Got him. Done. Great. I will just take that a minute. Let's spin the red wire away from the neutral side. That's hidden away. I'll put some tape around him in a minute. We don't have to wire this the other way now, do we? To put this. Oh, you twat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's undo uh, that one again. Stuff. <laughs> what? So I'm going to bring the cable through here, this one. Yeah. Um, and what's going on there, the red one, and which one? Hold on a sec. What side is that switch? Where's the other switch? Uh, the switch is there. Yeah, that side will be fine. Okay. Oops. Right, lives. So it was red one. Red one. And brown one. Brown one. <laughs> you have to do colours with me. <laughs> I did have the other one the upside down. So it should be like that. Or should it be the other way around? Other way around. Like that? Yeah. And then that like that. Yeah. Hang on. Okay. Hang on, I got an idea. Yep, good shout. Idiot wired it over the top of this. It's also been apart. Sure. Okay, happy? I think so. <laughs> One. <laughs> One down. <laughs> Oh, I always hold tapey stuff. Mm. 
So we've got neutral. Have, you, oh. have I done what? Are they the decent ones then? Oh, yeah, yeah. Grips. yeah. You've got a decent set now. Decent crimps? Yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. Why do you need them? No, I was just saying because you said when you did the WT, yeah. it was a lot. I did that about a year and a half ago. Right, then we need a socket for the earth. I hope it's this side. Ah, no, too loose. Ah, okay, yeah, I see it now. I hope I've got one that will do. It's Imperial, isn't it? It's Imperial. Pliers. Bugger. Oh, is that a quarter inch? A quarter inch on someone for working the American washing machines. Ah. Oh, door, mm -hmm. look what? at the earth on there. Can <laughs> you not do colours? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my goodness, are we? Let's take this off again. A <laughs> 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 neutral and earth are the same thing, but. Oh, dear. So the blue one goes on here. Tell I'm tired, yeah. Blue and black. <laughs> Good you're not doing this alone, isn't it? This is going to be an interesting that video. <laughs> How not to rewire the washing machine. Oh, crap. No, um, well, I had the system one briefly, because um, she, when she first moved from Aberdeen down to Edinburgh, it was going so well. The house that she moved into had a 9.5 series, because um, it was a furnished place she rented. Cool. Da -da. Oh, rubbish. Rubbishy rubbish. I hope these are the right way around. The controls? Yeah. Is it caught? Fuck. Off. Gone. Are you allergic? No, I just hate fuzzy. It's painful. Anything that flies. I don't like moths. I hate moths. Because I don't mind butterflies. I'll go into we were, a butterfly. We were in please. Africa. Oh at wow! School, and we would hear heard this tapping noise. Mm -hmm. It was this massive moth. This we were like running butterfly. around like girls. Oh no, no thanks. Right, that can be clipped back in then. Excellent. So. Should we flick it up? Yes. I did um I, I, no I did try it. It does work though. Yeah yeah yeah. Right. I'll let you do that.
I think it might be fading on the trim. If we get it off, line the trim in its groove. Ah, uh, yes. Come on. Um, This doesn't need is easier to work on this from here, is it or no? I've got no idea, I've never taken one apart. Okay. Um, Alright. Just leave it as this. Well, let's have a quick look. Does that come off? I genuinely have no idea. But, um, Oh. Okay. It's definitely sure. fine. Could be treasure for silver. Worth millions of pounds. Um no idea how it comes apart. No. Yeah. It'll be alright. Come on. Yes. <coughs> That's not promising. It's quite a very basic kind of design, isn't it? Yeah. We probably want to get a hoover in here to get rid of all that crap. Yes. Can we get the Henry from down the show? Yes. We'll be back in a second when we vacuum it up. When it comes to me to do the, the refurb and the respray, and knowing how you did this, it's going to make the refurb it's going to go a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah. I've got some rubber restorer to soak all the rubbers in, to try okay, and restore yeah. them. Yeah. Uh, failing that, I can wing it with the rubbers on a kettle. Original. Right, top. It's on. Not really. To be honest, we'll just put four on. Yeah, okay. It's got half in it.
That's the way around, that one. I think it's better that way around. That's not right at all. That's not right at all. That is never going on. How many have we got on? One, two, three. Let's just do one more and it'll be fine. Yeah, let's do this one then. Just so it's on. Can you lift it up a little bit? Mm -hmm. Oh, this poxy. Should I get another one? Yeah, what else have we got? That one looks better. No, not really. Oh, maybe it does. Hammer. Yeah. Cool, little bit. One more door. Oh. Sorry. Seems solid. Uh, for that one. You got another Jubilee clip? No, I've only got that thing. If not, it'd be the old one. Um, um, but the old one's got that useless screw on it. Useless. What about this? Are these any good? Uh, I can try that. I don't know if it's the right size though. No, no it's not even the right size. Okay, there's loads of them, so I even need a bigger one, yeah? Yeah. Are there any clips in here? Yeah, loads. That's way too big. Um, try that. Yeah, I've got a bolt over I took one of these off just now. I took it off from that one right. that we're fitting on. There's one here that I've got one unscrewed one. There's another one there. That's a good one. Oh, it's not too small. How bloody hell did I just cut it? In the bed. Oh, yeah. What's that one in there? That's too small. Too small. Oh, okay. Don't know. Oh, hold on. Oh. That should do it. You haven't got a bigger one, have you? I don't Big think this is going to be big enough. Oh, yeah. How big do you want it? I don't know. Um, let me just see. There you are. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's going to need to be bigger. That'll do. I hope. Yeah. 
Uh. Yeah, about six hours. Once it gets a bit smaller, then we can put it in its position. Exactly, course. yeah. The bloody thing from moving. Uh, it's tightening, is it? Yeah, I think so. Looking good from the top, you see. Getting there. I'll leave it at that, I think. Yes. That feels like it's getting tight there. Excellent. Okay, so we're back in the burning sun. It's the next day. And this part of the drain hose I've had soaking in some rubber restorer for a couple of hours in the sun and this has now become a lot more flexible so what I plan to do is put this back onto the machine and then hopefully we won't have any leaks so let me just position you so you can see vaguely what I'm doing so I need to take this off out of the cling film chuck it on the grass for a second I'm going to put it back into the water to wash off the excess and now this has become a lot more supple oh, and cracked Oh shit, no. No, this has just become completely and utterly crunchy. So that didn't work. Oh well. That's a very short part of the video because this is something that is disintegrated. Oh. Ah. <sighs> Okay, back to square one. Okay, so we are back home 
uh, back in Grantham and I've got it under here for now and I'll take it into the garage soon but everything has come to a bit of a halt at the moment because of this issue with this split pipe and it is really really awkward because it starts off in one diameter and then moves on to another diameter so I have to try and find something that will work for this that looks something like this or is flexible enough to go in two directions so I have a challenge on my hands so until I get this part I can't test it but I think it is now watertight once I get this solution so unfortunately we're at a bit of a halt on the rolls but hopefully I will get it sorted very soon and I'm on a mission now to get this pipe sorted so that is the end of the video for the moment. Thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you soon for the next part of the Rolls Repeat Repair. Bye guys.